with Rob Lewis, Brent Hubs, VolQuest.com on this game day morning. Tennessee taking on Texas A&M. News today, Rob, as Tennessee will be without two coaches, Jay Graham, Derek Ansley. They'll be without Eric Gray and Brian Maurer. Not the combination, not the things you're looking for on no. a game day morning. No, I mean, Eric Gray in particular. I mean, just a guy that I mean, he's easily been Tennessee's most dynamic offensive player. It's not. It's really not been close. Yeah, and then you throw in the fact, I mean, Jeremy Pruitt's heavily involved in calling defenses, but the fact of the matter now, he's the defensive line coach, defensive coordinator, uh, head coach, a lot on his plate today. Yeah, <laughs> and, and again, you know, just like you said, I mean, Jeremy's heavily involved, you know, maybe even we'll call a defensive player or two throughout the course of the day, but you know, he's basically wearing three hats against, you know, in what, you know, it's, I mean, it's not a must win by any any stretch of the imagination, but it's a probably not, not too strong than the expression to say it's a must show well game. Yeah, I think, you know, certainly they don't need, they do not need to get blown out, do not need to get routed today for, for sure, as a lot of people certainly are paying attention to this game on campus, uh, powers that be, seeing how this team performs. The balls will run through the tee uh, today as seniors. We'll see which ones go and what does that mean? What does that not mean moving forward? I think a lot of these seniors have not made their choice, final decisions yet. Finally, Tennessee with that Cade Mays up front, a real challenge for Tennessee's offensive line. a &M gives up 89 yards or 87 yards a game on the ground. Tennessee struggled in pass protection last year. Yeah, weeks. I mean, I think that's, I, mean, I don't know if it's underreported, but I mean, I don't think people talk about this Texas A&M defense enough. I mean, they're, I mean, they're right behind Georgia in just about every metric. In the SEC, I mean, Jimbo Fisher, his reputation is, you know, quarterback whisperer, offensive wizard type thing. And, and, and they're okay on offense, I mean, especially on the ground. But defensively, they've been nasty this year. I mean, they've, they've given up some, some stuff to – I mean, they beat Florida. They gave a lot of yards. Gave up some yardage to Alabama. Outside of that, nobody's really gotten after them as, as far as offensive performances. Cold, brisk, sunny day at Neyland Stadium. An interesting day for Tennessee. Again, minus several key components today. Volunteers taking on Texas A&M. For Rob Lewis, I'm Brent Hubs, FallQuest.com.